Peace, power, and protection, beautiful, beautiful souls. Welcome to another transmission. This reading will be a collective reading for each and every one of you signs that are tuning and tapping in. If this video popped up in your feed, that means there's a message here for you, even if it's just a little tidbit of information. Um, my spiel here on my channel is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning take what applies and leave the rest. I am Q, welcome to the channel. I am a Claire audience reader, so the way things work on my side of the planet is I do incorporate music in my readings and the way that it works, the name of the songs, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, it will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing and it all just blends pretty beautifully. Um, and I am also a timeless reader. So as I said, when this video pops up, this video rather pops up in your feed, that in fact would be a sign that there's something here for you. So welcome beloveds. I would like to welcome anyone that may be tuning in and tapping in for the first time. Welcome, thank you, I appreciate you. And I will that my energy, the way that I read, um, that it just, you know, that you vibe with my energy, that you like what you hear. Um, and more importantly, that you will show love by subscribing, liking the video, and perhaps even sharing the video, the content. The goal is to grow the soul tribe. The goal is to help as many that I possibly can. And YouTube politics calls for likes and views in order to you know, insert the videos into the algorithm. So I do ask that if you are here, that you go ahead and do some house cleaning, um, take your shoes off and, and hit the like button, button, you know what I'm talking about? Like it costs you nothing to show love. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing love. I provide deep dives. I don't give you a little five minute read, eight minute read, seven minute read. I give you a deep dive so that you could take your time and and, and, and take it in, you know what I'm saying? If you need to take some notes, beloved, you can do that with my reading. So I do, you know, ask that you reciprocate um, to all of my beloveds you that are returning, you already know what it is. You already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I send y'all extra love because you already know I love y'all that much. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead, do some house cleaning, and then we shall dive in, Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be, Ashe, 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 yo. So, beloveds, what time do we have on the Kliz Ark? So we have... So we have, um, ooh, ooh, turn the playlist on and it's already blasting. So we have, um, it's 6.57 uh, on the Klizok. It was actually 6.56, which is a breakdown of the number eight, but we also see 6.57, which is a breakdown of the number nine. So eight, let's go with that. This is an eight universal year. Um, eight is the number of karma. Eight is also the number of the strength card. I also associate the number eight with wish fulfillment. I feel like there is a blessing coming for those of you that have really been doing your soul work. 
healing at a soul level, healing from past wounds, traumas, healing from generational curses, breaking those curses, breaking those yokes, those individuals that have been grinding for the past 10 years on self, like really working on self, improving self and getting rid of anything that doesn't serve your highest good. You all have wish fulfillment that is speedily, rapidly approaching the, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like this is, this has just been confirmed. I've been seeing a lot of eight, eight, eights. And this year it is an eight, eight, eight. You know, the lion's gate will be eight, 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 August 8th, 2024, eight. So it is definitely, it is a, a, a trine of eights. And that is just really speaking to the magnitude of this energy that's coming in lion during the lion's gate. That portal is going to bring in all of the wish fulfillments, the blessings, all of your prayers will be answered. And it is strongly encouraged for you to continue to get rid of any blockages, anything. Hi, Katara. Look at this girl. She's right on cue. Confirmation. Hi, beautiful girl. I feel like, you know, with Katara, because, you know, cats are impervious to threat. They're very intuitive creatures. So the fact that she came during this time, I feel like spirit is just telling you to keep your eyes on a swivel and pay attention to your spidey senses. If certain things don't feel right or sit right in your spirit, do not do it. Um, as I said, that eight is the number of karma. So some of you may be dealing with karmics um, that may try to entice you into repeating a cycle that you have since completed. So they may try to entice you or they may try to distract you or they may try to trick you into completing another, um, you know, cycle of foolery and uckery. Um, what we have playing is Fela Kuti. Uh, some of you may be Nigerian because it says Nigeria, 1973. Some of you could have been born in the year 1973. Um, and it says gentlemen. The name of this uh, album is called Gentlemen. And if you look, there's like a baboon, a monkey, um, you know, and, and those animal totems are, you know, they represent like, they represent curiosity and mischief even, but they're highly intelligent and, um, they're very, they're, they're extremely loyal. Um, so I feel like this is just kind of like validating or confirming, I should say more so, um, like who you represent, like what you represent. Maybe you've dealt with you know, some very, you know, mischievous energy in your past. Um, but you have outsmarted, um, some of these individuals that were trying to trap you or trying to trick you. Um, but monkeys absolutely just, you know, kind of are confirming that there is, um, a strength, you know, that is within you. Um, because that number eight that we saw, you know, when we first started the reading, as I said earlier, it deals with strength. And I feel like, you know, you're very courageous. You're very wise um, and very confident now in who you are. Um, with that nine, I absolutely get a sense of self-love. I feel like you're, you're really just taking time to care for you, take care of you. And that hermit energy, you have abundant um, you know, have, you have, a, 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 a how should I say, like, you know, you, you have a lot of time to really just kind of hone in and focus in on certain things you can, can correct within yourself or improve if you will. Um, and so I feel like that hermit mode time that you may have taken, um, in your healing or self-discovery, um, it's really opened you up to becoming the leaders that you are today. And that's why I feel like I'm seeing wish fulfillment and blessings and victories and success, uh, because you absolutely have, um, completed chapters. You've wrapped up some cycles, but more importantly, you have done some amazing work, um, in your, uh, transformation. So it's just a beautiful confirmation that things are coming in, uh, with gentlemen. Um, I'm just getting a sense of like, if you are a masculine energy, I get a sense that you're coming into this like divine masculine energy, like you have transformed and now you're in that, that emperor energy, um, where you are, as I said, like a leader, you're, you're bossing up, um, you're making and calling the shots. Um, you know, you are positioning yourself, um, as an entrepreneur, perhaps where you are, 
you know, becoming more um, acclimated in, you know, establishing your own um, generational wealth. So you could be starting to, you know, move on some ideas that you may have been sitting on. Um, but there's this sense of going after what you want going and not taking no for an answer. Like, you know, maybe in the past you got discouraged because maybe a couple of doors closed in your face, or maybe there were a couple of roadblocks and it would just kind of discourage you in the past. But this new you, it's like, even if a door closes, you're going to find your way around another one. Um, for some of you, if you have, you know, gone to school and then you, you found yourselves, um, having difficulty finding work, um, in the field where you got your degrees or where you really um, invested so much time and energy and you, you found yourself like having difficulties finding um, a career path or finding a, a career that's going to pay you your worth. Um, I feel like just hold on because your degrees are like, you know, they, they open up doors. They're, they're keys to open up doors. So you, you should absolutely continue to, um, you know, to continue to peruse whatever those sites are or master your craft in the process. I saw 1111. For some of you, you're coming into alignment with your divine uh, purpose or passion or person. Um, 1111 is symbolic of that twin flame union. Um, and that 1111 breaks down to four and that deals with the heart chakra. So a lot of you have done a lot of work on yourselves and this has allowed you to trust your intuition. So moving forward in life, once you've gotten everything that you may deem um, as necessary before you pursue serious partnerships or before you come into union, I feel like you're going to do just that. You're going to secure um, yourself and make sure that you have something to offer others. And that way, when you do come into a union, it will be solid as a rock. You know, I feel like it's going to be solid because you're attracting a like mind. You're attracting someone who's on the same frequency or who has the same um, belief systems or has the same principles. Um, and so you, you are forming like Voltron. And I definitely am getting a sense of like you um, coming into a partnership that's going to feel very, um, very spiritually um, aligned. What we have playing right now is Tavares and look what it says. Never had a love like this before. I can't make this up. 1979. And that's the number eight. That could be that, ooh, that, could be that wish fulfillment because that breaks down to eight. Um, anything going into nine is the number. So I'm not going to do all the breaking down. But as you can see, that one and that seven, that reduces to eight. So that eight, again, wish fulfillments, that eight is also speaking to the seeds you've sowed in the past, the work you've done in the past, the tutelage, the growth, the el you know, just self-improvement, you know, just self-discovery. Those things have graduated you in a, uh, in, in, in a sense. So let's tap in, tune in, see what the cards have to say. If that's just what I'm picking up intuitively, beloveds. Um, as I said, this is a collective reading so we are going to see what the cards have to say. So what is here? So we have the number 46 says domestic harmony. I always see this card as like the 10 of pentacles uh, because it's just speaking of domestic harmony. Um, and, and this 46, that always reduces, you know, that always, uh, excuse me, I just saw 444 because 13 is four and then it was 1344. So that's 444. So your angels are in fact aligning you with someone that you are going to come into a very sacred um, union and partnership. And there's going to be a lot of balance that is, um, you know, that you start to uh, find in your life. Things start to balance out because you're being aligned with another person. Um, this is just a beautiful um, confirmation that this is going to be a beautiful union. 1414, it's been, you've been very patient waiting for this, but this is just confirmation that whomever you're attracting to you, um, this could be someone you've manifested. I definitely feel like spirit is turning things around and bringing someone um, that you are destined to be with uh, because the 10 is the wheel of fortune. So, you know, as I said earlier, there's like this turning point. There's something that is, you know, finally coming into alignment for you. And I feel it has to do with love. You know, when you look in the symbol, this is green and that green deals with 
the heart chakra and green also speaks to healing and this 46 even though that 10 it can absolutely denote that there is this ending you know an ending of a chapter ending of a cycle ending of old faulty belief systems and now you're feeling refreshed renewed rejuvenated and you're coming into your own and maybe perhaps some of you have manifested this change or manifested this person that may be coming in because that one deals with the magician the 10 deals with the wheel of fortune so whatever you're attracting to you it is absolutely destined which is why i was picking up with that number 888 um, you know, I mean, with the number eight that we saw earlier, that there was wish fulfillments. And then I went into, you know, the diatribe of, you know, this year, the lion's gate is going to not just be eight, eight, but it's going to be eight, 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 because we are in an eight universal year. So that in and of itself is just phenomenal. So whatever you have coming towards you is something you've manifested. It feels like something like a beautiful, fresh start, a new beginning. And this could be in love. Someone very well may be communicating with you telepathically. I get a sense of someone, you know, trying to send you some sort of like, um, you know, intuitive or telepathic messages. Maybe this is someone that just really is, you live in their mind or you live, um, you're constantly just in this person's energy. Like they carry you in their spirit and perhaps that that's, you know, someone that you've manifested. Maybe you could feel or, or sense someone is coming towards you, but whatever this is, this is going to bring some harmony and some balance into your life. For many of you that have been working on yourselves, um, you've been single doing this. And so, you know, you've not only had to you know, focus on healing yourself, but you've also had to wear many of hats where you've had to still provide for your household, take care of your family, cook for your family, you know, make sure the, the things, you know, the, the household is still running and maintaining, um, you know, so that there's efficacy, you know what I'm talking about? Like, so you, you were wearing many hats in this process, many, many hats, and it could have been very arduous. It could have been very, um, difficult, but you have persevered. And more importantly, you've proven that you are fully capable and strong enough to endure whatever life throws your way. And what's beautiful about this is now you realize that you were equipped, that you were designed, that you have this, this divine knowledge, this divine wisdom, this divine ability to manifest, to co-create with source, to utilize elements around you of water, fire, earth, air, and ether. And as you can see, it's, it's coming into harmony, coming into balance, and it's coming in quickly. You know, this is a beautiful confirmation that it's coming in quickly and who or what you're attracting. They're definitely, they, they have a lot of passion for you. This is a lot of passion and love and chemistry, you know, cause that one is a very felicious number. Um, some of you are going to meet someone named Joe cause it says meet Joe black. Um, some of you may be meeting someone named Joe, someone may be of, you know, um, maybe melanated, maybe um, darker skinned. Someone uh, could be from Queens. What we have on the bottom of the deck, we got 111 here. That's another synchronicity. Many of you had to become independent of codependent relationships. So you had to break free from those codependent relationships. Perhaps there was a relationship that you had to part ways from because of codependency, because of some sense of just toxicity overall. This one in the 46 that breaks down to one, and then you have the 11 that breaks down to, um, you know, two. So this is three. So for me, what I'm seeing is, you know, there was some sort of lesson you had to learn and it looks like there was some heartbreak, uh, because this 10 could also indicate that there was some sort of ending of a domestic partnership or a domestic relationship where a tower could have ensued, or you could have found yourself, um, you know, left behind or abandoned, or maybe there was, you know, you walked away or part, you know, parted ways from another person. Um, but what this was, you know, um, designed to do was prepare you to become independent because I get a sense of someone using another person as a crutch or someone, um, feeling like they needed another person, you know? Um, and that was, um, that wasn't the, the healthiest way, uh, to, you know, to be in this relationship. So in this process, I feel like, you know, there was a, a sense of karma, um, that was being, 
you know, kind of um, paid off, if you will. Uh, karmic debts were being paid off. And with this 11, that is the justice card. Now that you have taken the time to do that in the work, this three could be very symbolic of, as I said, that three of swords that I was seeing initially, where there was heartache, loss, um, pain, um, feeling regret, feeling remorse, feeling depressed, feeling dissatisfied, feeling unrequited love, you know, just feeling abandoned or feeling, you know, unappreciated or devalued or, you know, those feelings can become very heavy. Um, if you don't take the time to do the work for some of you with that three, this was the work you needed to do in terms of your chakras. You had to really work on that third chakra, which is your solar plexus. And for many people, that is the most difficult chakra to clear. Um, typically all of the lower chakras, like the root, the sacral and the sol uh, solar plexus, those are very, um, those are like, you have to clear those out or else you, you will not, you won't be able to ascend um otherwise you won't go through that kundalini rising where you know that serpent energy can rise um so it's very imperative to clear out you know any solar plex blockages um that solar plexes i was building um in the former reading for the collective um and and that may have been in the scorpio reading i'm not sure but either way um your solar plexes is a very important chakra to clear because most of us, um, you know, when we go through very traumatic experiences or when we experience pain and hurt, disappointment or anger, those things are housed in that solar plexus. It's housed in your gut. It's housed in that area where your chi is housed. And if your chi is blocked up, then you don't have that ability, um, you know, to tap into your uh, divine masculinity and femininity. So it's very important um, to do that work. And I do feel like there was some time where, you know, maybe you had to make some decisions um, on which, which course of action you were going to take. And I feel like now with this three, I feel like there's now going to be some sort of um, just trusting of your gumption or, or utilizing, I should say, like your first eye to see or to navigate situations moving forward. But let's, uh, moving forward, um, um, for the, you know, in the future. So let's tap in and see what's coming and going out going on with my beloved Scorpio. Uh, oh man. And I'm sorry for my beloved, um, <laughs> collective energy. I apologize. I always do readings for Scorpios. So pardon the slip. I will be mindful not to do that again during the reading. Thank you, Spirit. What messages do you have for our collective? We have Dave East, and this is called Free Smoke. Some of you could be from Harlem, New York. Someone could be from the East Coast. Someone's name could be Dave. Someone could have been dealing with someone named Dave. With smoke, I do feel like there is um, a sense that like there's something that is clearing up if there were someone living in an illusion because you know as i said with that three of swords you know energy i was picking up and also like some sort of you know ending of a partnership you know maybe you felt like you were gaslit or maybe you felt like you were tricked or you were duped or you know i feel like now there's this you know this clearance if you will um of your energy we have anita ward and this is called ring my bell and i just um I think that someone's name could be Anita. Um, someone could be from Louisiana because I'm hearing like fourth ward, fifth ward. They have like wards um, as they're like, you know, as as um, certain areas or parts of Louisiana. Uh, with Ring My Bell, you may receive like some unexpected guests. If someone knows where you reside, um, someone might just pop up. <laughs> um, and, and I don't know if you're going to be... Um, if you're going to be open to that, but just be mindful that that could definitely pop up, if, uh, definitely um, happen. But um, that also is some spirit was also saying like someone, someone could also um, call you because I believe like um, in the UK, um, they say like I'm a bell you or phone you or something. I think they use bell as the term for calling you. Um, so some of you could be from the UK, uh, but someone may be calling you if they're not just like popping up at your crib or your house or your home. Um, so let's tap in. Why? Uh, what is the overall energy for the collective? What messages do the overall, you know, do the collective need? What is the overall energy 
for my beloved collective spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. I really want to get a good shuffle on the cards. Spirit is telling me to keep going. So I'm just very obedient to what I hear in my mind's eyes. So, all right, they're saying one more. Thank you, Spirit. And I'm going to cut the deck. I like to cut it a couple of times until, again, I get a message. Like, okay, that's good. So we like to do the shuffle, baby. This is the last one. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. And we have the number 41. That's a number five. It reduces to five. And it says self-discipline. So as I said, a lot of y'all was taking time to work on yourselves. The bottom of the deck, we have the number two, patience. And I was mentioning patience earlier when we saw 1414. So many of you have been, you know, kind of like growing in patient because you've been doing all this work on yourself. And maybe you feel like you haven't had a lot, enough adventure in your life. You, you, you're starting to want to be more spontaneous. Um, and you just feel like things are just moving like at a snail's pace. But I feel like spirit is just saying like, you know, just acknowledge that you, you've been working hard. This is tutelage. You know, this is like, you could have been an understudy. You could have been learning, um, something new. Um, you could have been in classes. You could have been taking some online courses. Um, you could have been working with someone, uh, to, you know, like I'm, I'm hearing shamanic, um, some of you have been on some sort of shamanic journey. Some of you have been like studying under elders to become shamans. Some of you are answering like your call, like you're answering, you're finally um, owning this power that you all possess. You're finally stepping into your power. The five is the hermit. So I get a strong sense of like spiritual strength. I feel spiritual awakening. As I said earlier, I use the term of like that serpent energy, you know, that serpent energy has awakened within some of you because you've done that, that healing at a soul level. And when I say serpent energy, I'm speaking of like your Kundalini rising energy. And with this five, you know, the hermit, that hermit is a wizard. He knows the answers he or she seeks are found within. And so this is showing that you've absolutely been doing the work. 27, 27 on that clock. And the 27th card in this deck is spiritual um, partnership. And we saw 1111 earlier. So some of you have been really working on yourselves. Um, and spirit is about to align you not only with your purpose, but with your passion and with your, you know, your, your people, you know, your power. And you've really uh, displayed a lot of discipline, you know. When you are disciplined, that means that you, it's, it's like you are obedient to spirit. You're obedient to even being corrected, to constructive criticism. This is like that energy of someone be going through the initiation that I was picking up on. Self-discipline is, you know, respecting and honoring your elders or your ancestors, being very committed and, and devoted to developing a higher level of understanding or a deeper level, I should say, of understanding of your purpose. And through this self discovery, you start seeking, you start seeking that assistance. It's like you're being led to those that can, uh, you know, that can help guide you on your path. Maybe you're sitting at the feet of the elders within your own family because you may be of a family or a lineage of like, you know, healers, you know, of root workers, of, you know, um, even um, there, there's doula. I heard the word, the term doula. Like some of you could be like, doulas and you come from a family of like doulas like you know they didn't call them doulas back in the days I believe they they just called them like um I can't even remember the term I'm not going into that but I'm just getting a sense of like what you're doing this isn't just like you're the only one in your family like maybe you are being taught by your elder I'm getting some of you that are tuning in 
you know, are um, native, you know, indigenous to this land. And so you may be like passing down uh, or maybe having uh, certain traditions passed down to you from like, I'm seeing like an grandfather figure um, or an, uh, you know, like an elder figure in your family and they're teaching you and you're wearing the garb and you're, you know, you're doing those practices, um, you're studying, you're learning. And, and this self-discipline is showing that you are, um, you're having this spiritual awakening. Like you are now at that point where you can start teaching others because you have learned so much. You've really been mastering your craft. You've really been working on yourself, to be honest. I feel like you got the call. Like you just, you, you received the call from spirit. That, that call could have come in a form because this ring my bell is still playing. And, and, and I keep hearing the term, you received the call. And that call could have just been like a whisper in your mind's eye of now is the time. Or you could have had a very lucid dream, a dream that just felt real. And you woke up like, I know what I need to do. Or you may have had some powerful divine intervention or maybe something took place that just, I know what I need to do. And that smoke that we heard earlier um, by Dave East, it's like the smoke dissipated. Like if you were confused or co like, or, or in two minds before or unsure um, of what to do, which direction to go, it's like once that, that call, you know, came through, once you got that download, it's like you, you've been on it ever since. You've been on this journey. And this number two is confirming that because the number two is that high priestess. And remember when we first started the reading, the split was the 11 individuality and that number 46, um, uh, domestic harmony. And so I was breaking down that, you know, that 11 breaks down to two, which means that you have some divine knowledge and divine, divine wise dome. And we could see that here because the two is the high priestess, high priest card. And I feel like, as I said, initiations, you know, like, even that came up before, like just a lot of, um, a lot of learning. This is beautiful. And you're chosen to do this. You know, this is something that you've been chosen to do. This isn't something that you just stumbled upon and said, Oh, I, I like this. Let me try it. Like, this is like, you've been chosen because as I said, I was picking up for some of you, this tradition, 32, 32, that's five, five, which is 10. This is destined for you. There's no, there's no confusing that. And the wheel is turning. Whatever was blocking you before, whether it was you not really fully um, trusting in your abilities or you not really fully being invested in the, you know, in, in, in um, approaching this um, in the right form or fashion, it's like now you know and, and, and now is the time because things are turning. Things are starting to shift in your reality and you're going to start seeing some tremendous changes. We have Ravina, and this is called temptation. So be careful, because remember I was picking up earlier that you may have some folks that may be trying to distract you or trying to um, trick you into like repeating cycles. So you know this number two, that that also can speak to like you know what's 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 hidden, and that's why I said you gotta you gotta use your first eye to see. The twenty three twenty three that ten, um, remember the forty six we saw was domestic harmony. So it could be saying that someone from your past or someone you used to deal with, whether it was your wife, someone you had a domestic situation with, uh, situationship with or partnership with. For some of you, if this is an ex-husband, ex-wife or ex, you know, fiance, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, it's like they may be trying to come back to tempt you and stay clear of temptation because that's straight devil energy. The devil is a liar, the devil is a trickster, the devil is cunning, conning. He will speak or she will speak with a forked tongue. They will do anything to get what they want. So you have to be very mindful. That's why spirit is reminding you of self-discipline. When you have self-discipline, then that means you have self-control. You're controlling your actions, your thoughts, your movements, your act, you know, your um you're controlling you. In other words, not allowing someone else to come in and manipulate 34, 34, that's seven, seven, that's 14. That is the reverse of 41. 
So 14 is the moderation card. I mean, the um, well, it's the moderation card in this deck, but the 14 is the temperance, which tells you to be what? Patient. So spirit is telling you to use your first eye to make wise decisions. Because even though this is saying um, number two, that's high priestess, that's just another way of them reminding you of, of your, the necessity, I should say, to use discernment, you know? I was telling you earlier about your, your solar plexus. Trust your gumption. Trust what you feel in your spirit. Uh, because, you know, whatever it is that you are desiring, patience is, is of the essence, beloved. And I feel that it's coming, you know, and it's, it's taking its time because spirit wants to make sure it gets, you get it right. And so what we have right now uh, is we have, who is this? Um, ba -da 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 -ba -ba. This is called Think by Lynn Collins. So Spirit is telling you, think. Think about your actions. Think about your movements. Think about, you know, choose wisely the decisions or, you know, the actions that you take. So who or what is our beloved collective attracting to them? Wow, that's too many cards. But Spirit said expound. So what we have on the bottom of the deck, 96, forgiveness. So this 15 that this breaks down to, that's telling me that there is, again, some sort of devil energy because the 15th card is the devil. But when you break that down, that's the six, and the six is your first eye. So what did I just say about use your first eye to see? And then you have this song saying think. So I feel like Spirit is telling you think about your action. Think about what you're going to do before taking action. Someone is going to come around and perhaps give you some sort of an apology. Someone may come around acting sorry, you know, and you may feel sorry for them. But spirit is say think because that devil, as I said earlier, trickster, he speaks with a forked tongue. You can't believe nothing a devil says. There's going to be a lot of synchronicities and signs. Spirit is giving you the signs. So you have to pay attention to them. I went out for a walk today, yesterday, the day before, found feathers each day. That's ways that the, commun the angels communicate with you. You know what I'm talking about? Last night I went to bed reciting a certain scripture, woke up today. That same scripture, it was the title for a video that I ended up watching. Those are synchronicities. Those are divine interventions. Pay attention to that. If you're constantly seeing certain numbers, perhaps you're seeing 888, 777, 666. It's a synchronicities are messages from your angels and your guides. You're being communicated with and they're forcing you to think. So in order for you to think, then you need to go into a meditative state in order to manifest the reality that you desire. There's love coming in. Remember we saw 1111. The six is the lovers in traditional tarot. This could also represent the six of cups, which is like a past life love or someone from the past that could be returning. But spirit is still playing the song, think. Someone's name could be Lynn. Someone's name could be Collins, first, middle, or last. Someone can be from Lynn, Massachusetts. But spirit is saying, think. Think about what you're going to do. Because if this is someone from your past, um, that is like past life, then I do feel like there could be an opportunity to have a new experience. Because this is another six here. Six is six is 12. This is about looking at things from a different perspective. You know, perhaps if you have been single or blocked off or protective or guarded, spirit is telling you it's time to open up. Maybe there's a new opportunity. Someone could potentially be coming in to collaborate, you know, to partner up with you, to be, you know, like a, be um, your rock, your provider, your protector. You know, this could be that type of energy, that type of union. With 6-6, six, six, that breaks down to 12, which is the hangman. This could also be spirit telling you to, you know, take some time to think about what you're going to do. They are forcing you in that sacrificial position so you can see things from a different scope, a different angle, from a different lens, from a different perspective maybe. But that 3 also breaks down to, I mean that 12 also breaks down to 3. This could represent a divine feminine. We saw the divine masculine earlier with gentleman reference so divine feminine spirit is telling you to think about you know the, the decisions the choices the actions that you take with 74 nature i feel like spirit is saying it's time to get outside of the house 
to go outside, breathe in some fresh air, sit by a body of water, go take a walk in the park, go jog, go ride a bike, just go breathe some fresh air, sit amongst the trees, listen to the birds, allow the butterflies to just flutter around you. This is a need for you to be out in nature because there are some powerful divine downloads. And it's meant to stir up an emotion within you because we have Bob Marley playing Stir It Up. Some of you are, um, you know, Jamaican or you could be Rastafari's, Rastar, fire. <laughs> you could be a Rastafire. <laughs> but yeah, you, you, something could be also stirring up within you, you know, as I said, like emotionally. You know, and so spirit is telling you to trust that because whatever you're feeling in your gut is what you should be following anyway. 74 also breaks down to 11. This could also be speaking to like, you know, you coming into union with your divine counterpart because I'm getting like, you know, the two of cups energy where you're meeting someone that's on your frequency, your vibe, like you, you, you're totally vibing with this person. The synchronicity is off the chain. The, 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 the chemistry is off the Richter your conversations is just, it's, it's amazing. It's like, you, you, it's like everything that you wanted, you are finding it in this person. And on top of that, the cherry on the top is that they're healed. They don't have no trauma. They don't have no drama. They don't have no baggage. They're just there to be a support system. You know what I'm talking about? And the two of you can have that happily ever after. You could have that happy spouse, happy house energy. This is a beautiful energy of coming into partnership. We also have 6713. So this is that startling metamorphosis. So you emerging, transformed, you know, you coming out of a situation, a completely different person thinking completely different than you did in the past. It's almost like you're unrecognizable. And this is work you've done. You've been very busy. This is a physical activity card, which means that you've been busy. You wasn't just talking about it. You was being about it. You was doing the work. People haven't heard from you in months or maybe even years for some of you because you've been so busy doing your soul work, healing, growing, maturing, mastering your craft, working on your dreams, building and bonding with your children. You know what I'm talking about? Like you've been working on yourself and this has improved your self-love because you are self-disciplined this is powerful beloveds and you have communication i told you there could be a message coming because we saw that ring my bell so i was feeling like somebody could pop up at your crib literally ring your doorbell or someone could actually just ring your phone you know just out of the blue you get a message or you get a call but spirit is also saying this very profound or very um sensitive um, communication, you know, whether that is by means of, you know, your intuition, someone communicating intuitively or d someone communicating telepathically, but there is communication coming by means of, you know, by a different means, which is more so like cerebral activity opposed to like someone picking up a phone or sending a kite like this. This is really telling me like you're heavy in someone's thoughts. Or maybe someone's heavy in your mind. You know, they just rent space freely in your mind. Or vice versa. But there is communication coming. And I feel when that communication comes, you're going to have some sort of grand epiphany. Like this is going to bring to light some emotions because we had to stir it up plan. So this is going to like stir up some real deep emotions that you may not have felt in a long time. Or perhaps you may do that for someone else. What did I say about that 8-8 eight, eight portal? This is another confirmation. This card has showed up in several readings over the past couple of readings I've done. And this is just double confirmation that during that light lion's gate, that you have abundance and abundance in many areas, not just in love, which is beautiful, but I feel you have abundance coming in terms of financial freedom. I feel you have abundance coming in terms of your career, business, you perhaps may be coming into very strong partnerships with other individuals. It's like that tower fell so that you can rebuild. And it's very, you know, um, symbolic. Like when a tower falls, you just think of, you know, all the smoldering 
debris and what that does is it fertilizes the earth and allows for you to now rebuild on a more solid foundation so whatever was weak or whatever wasn't um healthy in that you know whatever wasn't sustainable i should say in that foundation previously which led to it ultimately collapsing it's like now this time around it is going to be able to sustain any type of you know impact this is like you're you're going to be so elated you're going to be fulfilled beloved this is an all pink card so that just speaks to emotional fulfillment financial fulfillment this is a beautiful energy we have willow for a tiny desk um performance and she has this um this very intricate painting on her crown i mean on her first eye and i believe that's like in hindu religion it, it just speaks to um it's like a, it's called a talak if i'm not mistaken and it's made with like clay from a sacred river and it's there's a a, a very um it's just a beautiful vedic practice that speaks to um, like having a Christ consciousness or uh, t tapping into that God frequency. So it really just represents a higher, as I was saying earlier about you coming into your spiritual strength, especially with this card of self-discipline here. Um, this this right here is just proving that. This this song, Willow. And and this, um, you know, her, her um, that drawing on her head. Very powerful. It's it's called Tilak. It's not a drawing. It's called Tilak. It's it's just an ancient. Um, it's a very ancient. Um, I'm sorry. I got yeah. It's an ancient um, and sacred uh, practice that they do, and it, it's symbolic of, as I said, just having like Christ consciousness. Um, what we have here is 44 environment. So something is coming in your environment. Um, and remember, we had 8-8, eight, eight, and then there goes the other 8. And I was just expounding earlier on the 8-8 eight, eight and how this year is very powerful, especially with the Lion's Gate this year because we are in an 8 universal year. So we got another 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. We saw that in the last reading for Scorpio, and now we're seeing, uh, and we saw it in the other collective reading, if I'm not mistaken, and now we see it here. But this is just saying, like, your hard work is paying off. You have been, like, really focused. You know, you're talking about determination and drive. You're talking about someone who is very, um, you know, eyes on the prize and ambitious and, and determined and a goal-getter. You know, it, it's like this is very, um, you know, this is very um, telling. You know, that this is what you've been doing. And more importantly, I feel whatever you are attracting to you, you do not realize how close it is. You do not realize that it's literally in your orbit. So if you have been manifesting things, and as I said earlier, you've been growing impatient because you're just waiting, or you feel like you've been just doing all this work, this soul work, and you haven't had any sign of like just just some, some sort of adventure, some sort of just relief. Um, it's like, it's coming, it's in your orbit and it's coming quickly. You don't even know it's here for some of you. You could sense it. It's almost like you can't describe what you feel, but you know, something is coming for some of you. It's just like, I feel like something big is going to happen. It's, and it's exciting. It's not like a doom and gloom feeling. It's like something is about to transform my whole entire experience with this energy here. 48, that's 12. That breaks down to three. This is saying that you are coming into partnerships. 48, 48 on the, on the clock as I'm breaking down the number 48. Confirmation yet again, nothing but in this reading. So this 48, that breaks down to 12, which breaks down to three. I always see this as the three of pentacles. So whatever you've been working on, as I said earlier, when you was in that hermit mode and as you've been on this road to self-discovery and healing and growth, it's like whatever you've been working on, it is materializing, um, you know, this abundance, this change in your life. Like you are about to come into something magnificent, something that you may not even expect. This is like, it's bigger than what you even imagine. 
and it's, it's a beautiful thing so let's tap in who or what is our beloved collective attracting to them let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit who or what is our beloved scorpio mm. <laughs> our beloved collective is attracted to them look at that you attracting a happy ending so we got 93 12 a 93 12 i love that and you could feel it in your gut just like i was breaking down you know something's coming and what you know is coming it's bringing nothing but happiness and joy i told you i wasn't feeling no doom and gloom i felt like it was something beautiful and this is confirmation what you are attracting to you collective is a beautiful happy ending after having such a rough start this is beautiful you got 44 here and remember we saw 44 so that three and that 41 that breaks down to 44 so you do have um, something that spirit is aligning you with you definitely have something beautiful coming because as I said earlier you've done the work you've been busy you've been busy doing your work you haven't been playing you haven't had any social life many of you have not had a social life in years it could have been four years for some of you it could have been you know uh, maybe the past 12 years or three years even five years you just been on it you've been handling business because maybe some of you all feel like you you let so much time get by you wasted you may have felt like you wasted so much time in a particular situation so it's like you had a lot of catching up to do maybe for many of you you put certain things you know to the back burner to tend to your relationships or to show up in your relationships and you may have felt after those relationships failed that you had nothing to show for it and so you're making up for all that lost time and as I said, you, you get rewarded when you do the work. And there goes the 14 moderation card that I was telling you about earlier when I was telling you that was the flip to this when we saw 1414 14, um, on the Klizop. So as you can see, patience, <laughs> patience. Someone is attempting to be very patient or someone is really, you know, noticing, you know, that you've made some real life changes out chair. Like, and, and it, you, it's been a very slow and steady process, but I'm feeling like, you know, whoever this is that's been observing, because I guess someone kind of watching you, clocking you, and with this eight right here, they could be mustering up the strength, because that eight deals with the strength card, you know? They could be mustering up the strength to come towards you, to communicate, because this 14 breaks down to five, you know, and maybe perhaps a conversation will change some things, perhaps your perspective, but it's taking some patience because someone is perhaps planning, preparing, maybe even strategizing how to approach you, what to say, you know, what you may, how you may retort, you know, so this is someone that is, you know, that they're, they're kind of taking their time because they want to get it right. But someone acknowledges, you know, some changes that you've made. Many of you, you may just look different because you may have lost a lot of waste. A lot of you may have, you know, changed your hair, cut your hair. If you had long hair, you may have grew your hair out. You know what I'm talking about? Like you may have just changed your whole wardrobe. Your whole style has changed. You have changed. We have DMX hood blues featuring West Side uh, Gun and... Um, Benny the Butcher, and what's sticking out to me more so than anything is the number, um, I mean, is blues, because blue is the throat chakra, which deals with that number five that this 14 breaks down to. So that is the number of the fifth chakra. Uh, I mean, that is the color, pardon me, of the fifth chakra is blue. So as I said, you've been mastering yourself. You've been very disciplined in this process, as the card says here. So that means that you've been obedient. You've been really, um, you know, you've been putting yourself even on like some sort of restricted schedule. Like some of you may be like waking up and you have a routine where you get some meditations in before the sun is even up. You may do some yoga. You may go out and take a walk. You may be the one that goes out in nature to just ground yourself or to connect with Mother Gaia, Daughter Earth. Like you could be that type of person that already has this type of discipline. And that is why you are coming into such a very, um, such a very um, 
beautiful, <laughs> you know, powerful spiritual um, gift. You've been honing this like this. You have been called to do this. Anointed, you know, so let's see. Why does um, why is this? Ha um, no, what am I saying? Ha um, how does this person or this energy that our beloved collective is attracting to them? How do they feel? How does it feel about our beloved collective? And we have 74 nature. What did I say about getting out there in nature just moments ago? I love synchronicities all day long. It happens and it just feels so good. I feel so connected. Thank you, spirit. So we have this 63 and it says parenting. So for some of you, this could be the mother or fathers to your child or children. This could represent your own mother or father. We have Slowly Surely here playing by Jill Scott. Um, someone's name could be Jill or Scott, first, middle, or last. Someone could be from Philadelphia. Someone could be from Yonkers, New York. Someone could be from, what is that, Rochester or Buffalo, New York as well. We also have 13 effort. And remember, I was breaking down 13 earlier because we um, saw that 67 physical activity. And I was saying that some of you were absolutely coming, you know, going through like this transformative or startling metamorphosis. So, you know, that I feel like who, how they feel about you is that you have, you know, since transformed. Maybe this is someone that you, you know, may have been in a domestic partnership with because that was the card that opened up. This could be someone that you may have procreated life with, someone that you may have resided with. And, you know, it was like, um, it was like common law marriage. You may have lived with this person for up to three years, maybe even nine years, uh, maybe even four years. Some of you could have lived with someone for six years, whatever the case may be. Maybe it was 13. Maybe you met this person when you were 13. Maybe this is something that is just confirming um, that, you know, the mother or father of your child is what led to your transformation as well. Someone, how they feel about you is that you're, you're completely a different person. And with slowly, surely, I'm also picking up that someone is coming towards you slowly, but surely, you know, maybe someone maybe this is someone that you walked away from because what Jill said, spirit told me to listen to the lyrics. And, um, what Jill says is slowly, surely I walk away from that old desperate and days love caught up in the maze of love, the crazy craze of love thought it was real, thought it was good, thought it was, but it was in love. So I just don't know. Yeah. So I think that's what this is saying. You walked away. You walked away from a love that wasn't good. It, 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 it took some time, but you surely did get it right eventually because whatever you was dealing with, whether this was the mother, father of your child, remember I was picking up heartache and loss and pain, disappointment. You definitely, you know, had to separate yourself from someone because there was some sort of disagreement. There was some sort of betrayals. Um, there was definitely, you know, a feeling of you even becoming or feeling overwhelmed. I was picking up for some of you, maybe there was like this energy of codependency, but I see that you, you know, kind of like finally changed your mind about the situation and you walked away. Um, you left it behind. You made the necessary changes with this effort. It's showing that you did in fact put in the effort, um, but you didn't get in, you know, get out of it what you may have put into it. And so that's why it took a long time um, for you to finally just walk away. It was slowly, but it, it, it was surely that you walked away because that's what she's literally saying in the reading. I mean, in the song. So with this, this uh, nine and this 13, which breaks down to four, I see this feeling, this energy of recovery because I'm seeing like the four of cups now because that 13 breaks down to four. I'm seeing like the four of cups. I'm even seeing the four, not the four of cups, pardon me. I'm seeing the four of swords. So for you, the four of swords is like you're recovering. You're, rec you're recuperating from a failed situation, from a situation that 
felt like a death, felt like an ending. But we're seeing, you know, spirit has acknowledged um, that you've made the necessary um, changes, first and foremost, um, you know, to, to transform or to leave this situation behind. So we have five. I'm sorry, we have eight. So this all breaks down to 12, which is three. So I feel someone now is trying to, you know, trying to figure out how to come towards you. They could be mustering up the strength and courage. They're going to try to make some sort of effort. But remember what I was picking up earlier, that devil energy and someone coming back with, you know, games, you know, but with the 74, again, we got this nature. We got Floetry singing, hey, you. So for some of you all, maybe this is how someone may have greeted you. Like, hey, you. You know, maybe that's how you greeted someone else. Someone could be from the UK, as I said earlier, or Philly. I definitely am, am getting a sense like, oh, there goes that 10 karmic completion. So what's hidden in the energy, that's what's taking place. I was feeling that already, you know, that there's been just, you know, cycles are, are, are um, closing out. Towers are falling. Thank you, spirit. We're going to take that. And this card is still stuck in my hand. I'm going to take that as well. And we have 11 individuality back at 11. So there was absolutely a need to cut yourself free from something that was kind of holding you back. And we have this 9-9 nine -nine compassion. Compassion is speaking about not judging others or judging even yourself. But also it's telling you to show forgiveness. Because that is for your healing. That is for your um, greater good. It has nothing to do with the other party. This is really about you being able to let it go and let it flow. Because when you are stuck in, 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 in a state of mind of frustration, anger, animosity, resentment, you know, or even guilt, those things can be, ha you know, it could just sit and fester. And that's when you start having those blockages that I was speaking of earlier, especially in your solar plexus. But with compassion, I feel spirit is telling you to show compassion. Do not judge others or their journey. I feel like you might hear from someone and they might, you know, greet you like, hey, you. If you have someone that used to greet you like that or say, hey, you, I feel like this is someone that may be um, desiring to come back. You know, looking for an end. We have this number five change. So something is going to change. I feel like spirit said things will change when you kind of open up and get out of um, perhaps maybe that space of judging a situation. Maybe you are judging someone. Maybe you are a little guarded because with the nine, I'm, I'm seeing the nine of wands and that nine of wands is like that wounded warrior, someone who's been hurt, you know, repeatedly by people that they trusted. And now there's these walls that they've built up to protect themselves, to shield themselves from being hurt again. But spirit, and, and maybe you've grown um, this this energy of anger, you know, maybe you, you've you grown even a little um, vindictive, you know, and spirit is saying, let it go, let it flow, like show compassion, you know, with flowetry, spirit is telling you to let it flow, let things flow naturally, just let it go, you know, don't, don't, judge the situation don't judge yourself don't even look back um and judge things look back in awareness learn from it move on and let let just release the, the some of you need to perform like cord cutting rituals or you need to perform some sort of you know uh, um just something to release yourself from soul ties spirit ties and you can literally just get like two black candles you know and you can tie some twine on each of the candles you could write inscribe on you know each of the candles what you're releasing one could represent you the other could be what you're releasing you like both of those with the twine connected to it you know make sure of course you clean clear cleanse your space you create a circle of protection around yourself but you you set set this up and make sure that when you um, light it, what you'll see is that that cord, because the twine represents the cord that is binding you. So when you light those candles, you will see that that cord will be, um, it will be banished, it will be burned, it will be 
it will be, you know, purged. And I would repeat that for like three days, you know, but a change is coming. This is what's hidden and change is a good thing. This five is saying that you've changed because now you're more self-disciplined. When you're self-disciplined, it's all encompassing of like self-love. So, you know, having self-love and self-worth and knowing your self-value. And that's something I feel like you've evolved into um, because in the past, I don't think you may have, um, I don't think you may have presented yourself in that manner because I get a sense of like um, there being some codependencies in former relationships, whether by means of you, you know, being codependent on another person um, or someone being codependent on you. And that, that is, um, it's a very karmic um, energy that you had to navigate. But now uh, some positive changes. This is a solid card. So some positive changes are um, manifesting in your life. And this is also, you know, just strongly indicating the spiritual strength and spiritual prowess that you have now. This is beautiful. With this individuality, you've learned your independence is the foundation for your stability and your security. And this is why you're coming into alignment with your divine feminine or divine masculine. Your A alike, B alike. You're coming into alignment with someone that's going to be a like mind. Someone finds you super attractive. You have Oshun. And this is called protect yourself. So with protect yourself, I do get a sense of like someone may be trying to block something or someone may be trying to distract you or because that devil showed up. And so I do want you to make sure that you're protecting yourself. I just explained or expounded on doing like a release, cere um, release ceremony or cord cutting ceremony um, to, you know, to, to banish some sort of heavy energy. So Oshun is confirming that by saying um, to that you need to protect yourself. Oshun is an Orisha, a goddess, a beautiful Orisha. She's very attractive. That's why I was initially saying that, you know, others are attracted to you, you know, and some people can become very jealous and envious of your beauty. You know, your beauty may not just be physical beauty. You may have, you know, this internal beauty as well. You know, you may be a loving and caring and compassionate and empathic person. And, you know, that could just irritate demons. That could irritate people who are here to do devilish work. And so spirit is just encouraging you to protect yourself. I'm also hearing you need to wear like more white you know, wear white clothing, white linens. Because I feel like spirit is saying that um, that also, you know, like during this process of perhaps when you're doing the cord cutting ritual, like wear white garb and cover your hair and make sure to cleanse the area once you've done it. Get rid, discard of, you know, anything left behind um, in a, you know, a garbage been away from your home not a place that you frequently pass by but someplace on the other side of town that you don't barely be at like just get rid of it but I feel I heard like strongly like wear white garb because everyone you know is wearing like this white garb you know they're wearing this white garb in the video and spirit was like white garb all right so what is the uh, outcome for my beloved collective let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit what is the outcome for my beloved collective thank you spirit bottom of the deck we have spirituality 77 trust your intuition the crown chakra is wide open you've definitely grown personally spiritually mentally emotionally that's why this change is here because whomever you is learning from whatever elder or whatever ancestor in the spirit realm that has been like taking your hand and helping you like it, it, it you are coming into your own you're also attracting your divine counterpart that's also going to be spiritual like you as i said a alike b alike whenever i see double numbers i feel like that's you attracting someone that's made in your likeness and we also got this eight manifestation and i spoke to some of you all being co-creators and master manifestors i imagination you could be you know utilizing your first eye to you know to visualize um the reality that you wish to manifest you may be doing a lot of the visualizations or affirmations 
you may be scribing in your journals you may be just you know waking up as i said with a ritual where you may be connecting with your 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 body connecting with your higher self through meditation or through yoga or through taking walks or going out in nature you know and what's happening is there's this divine awakening because this 7714 breaks down to five which is not only this self-discipline card which i was saying was very indicative or very symbolic of a spiritual um strength that you now have but this also is showing that the changes you've made have come from your own doing that's why we saw that physical activity card because that was the transformation that took place in your mind that you are the sole control soul controller of your destiny and so this seven seven spirituality is confirming your crown is wide open and you're receiving some downloads you're receiving instruction you're receiving guidance the card that came out for your outcome is you have that 33 communication trust your intuition use discernment i absolutely feel you're coming into some sort of epiphanous moment we have Handle Me Gently by Norman Connors. Someone's name could be Norman or Connors, first, middle, or last. And I feel like with the six, I feel like you're going to hear from someone from your past, whether this is someone that you know from the past or someone that you could have worked with or you knew from your neighborhood or someone you could have dealt with or a karmic, or this could simply just speak to someone you've known from a past life. You know, with the six, I feel like spirit is, again, just encouraging you to trust your intuition, use your inner gumption, and also speak your truth with communication. Don't feel afraid to express your truth. Speak up for what you believe in. Stand perpendicular on your square and say how you feel. But I also feel someone will be communicating with you. Um, perhaps that they're interested. Perhaps that they admire you. Perhaps that they have this adoration. And with Handle Me Gently, I, I get a sense that, you know, um, they're going to be very, very, um, not only patient, um, but they're going to be very attentive. They're going to be attentive to your needs. So you may be like, look, I don't, I, I'm, you know, you, you might need to take things slow because you've been off the market for a while. So you're not trying to rush into things. You're not looking into, you know, looking to rush into things and be in that whole, you know, honeymoon phase for it to just you know crash and burn it's like you want to take things slow this time around so with the seven seven spirituality 14 that's just spirit's way of confirming that the reason why things have been taking some time is because you've been working on yourself you've been healing again at a soul level and that's why this you know this card of self-discipline is here because you have taken your healing and taken your life into your own hands Regardless of whatever tower may have fell or whatever may have occurred in the past, you didn't allow it to hinder you. And I just feel like you're manifesting something something beautiful um, because you've realized that you have the power. You realize that you possess the power. So that's beautiful. So let's um, clarify these messages, beloved, and then we're going to wrap it up. You already know. So let's see. Let's get some messages. I'm feeling like getting some messages from Energy Oracle. You know what I'm talking about? Matter of fact, you know what? Spirit just corrected me. Spirit said to pick some messages up because I saw that 15 earlier, the devil. So I just want to see if we could pick up on any shadow energy, anything that may be lurking in the background for our beautiful collective. Right now we have Erica Badu playing or orange moon as I'm talking about checking into anything lurking in the background or anything hidden behind the scenes. So what we have, let's put this over here. What we have on the bottom of the deck, we have the watchtower. So someone is absolutely watching you. I was picking up on that, and this is confirming. Trust your intuition. Someone's name could be Erica or Badu. Someone could reside in uh, Texas. With orange, that is your, that's associated with the um, sacral. So I feel like, you know, spirit is telling you to prioritize you. The moon is very indicative of, not only intuition, but also emotions. The moon really, um, it really, um, how can I say this? The moon is very powerful and it really um, can sway 
you know, the, the waves, it can sway the currents of the sea, of the ocean. And so with this full moon, that full moon means, means something's manifesting. And I feel like spirit is just reminding you to put you first. Someone's watching, maybe someone's kind of anticipating or trying to gauge when the appropriate time or the right time will be to take action, you know? Because I get a sense that you are being watched. What we have on the split, we have secret, book of shadows. That's the magician card. So what did I say earlier about someone manifesting someone? But I also was expounding on someone that was devilish or someone that could be, you know, um, like you needing to protect your energy. Because this is, you know, the book of shadows is like, you know, the recipe for, you know, black magic, voodoo, juju, hoodoo, santeria. Those are, that's the recipe book this is where you would go and, and and get your recipe to conjure up you know whatever it is you're trying to conjure up and whomever this is is watching with orange moon there could be something hidden from you and that's why spirit is telling you use your intuition and this is someone that could also be you know like um aware that you are perhaps a, a high priestess or a high priest or um, someone who is uh, spiritually, um, you know, spiritually astute as well. So let's tap in. Why is this self-discipline card here for the overall energy? Wow, a couple cards have already fell and flew out. So let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have guidance card, tarot um, cards. So this could really speak to me performing this reading for the collective, or this could speak to someone else who could be getting a tarot reading on you. So just be mindful. Someone is seeking guidance on what actions to take. And if you look closely, it shows you all of the different tarot cards. So if any of these cards show up in this reading, this can definitely be just a confirmation that that is very much um, spirit is picking up on you you know, receiving um, these downloads from me, which can provide you some insight, some guidance. Because when you know better, you can do better, you know. And when you have, you know, some sort of confirmation, I'm not saying I have the answers, but when you receive a confirmation of something you already had an inkling of, that is a sign. Trust it. Remember, I expounded earlier and I was telling you how last night I went to bed reciting a certain scripture, woke up, and that same scripture was the first thing I saw um, when I turned on my YouTube, it was the, the uh, title of a video that I watched. So pay attention to those little signs. You, you, you have to know what you're looking for. And this could be a sign that, you know, whatever you were thinking or whatever inkling you was getting, that was, that you was right, you was right and exact. So what we have here is Homeland Foundation. So it says self-discipline. So what was I saying about you rebuilding, you know, learning, growing? This foundation card is really speaking to that energy of you rebuilding, rebuilding and restructuring, rebranding. You are on your re-re, <laughs> you know? This is that energy of you feeling very renewed, very refreshed, very, very rejuvenated. But this also is saying that you have now established um, the self-discipline, which has enabled your ability to, you know, really set the tone. To set the tone and to, wow, like some of you also, wow, because this is showing me like some of y'all may be so busy, like you could be like traveling to provide some certain services or maybe this is just showing like you're going to be whatever this is you're doing spiritually whatever you're being initiated or you know kind of like ushered into whatever spiritual um practice you're doing i feel like it's going to be like you're going to be helping people all over the globe you know and this is going to establish your stability you know remember i was even talking about like your foundation like, you know, how when a tower falls, you know, and, and that smoldering debris, how it burns, you know, it, it really, um, it really neutralizes the earth. And so when, 
so that new life can grow. And so I feel that's what this is saying. This is powerful. You're going to have a solid, strong foundation moving forward. And this is because you now have your footing, you know, whatever you are mastering, whatever craft, gift, skill, talent, whatever, you know, skill you were honing, whatever it was you was doing and tapping into whatever form of expression it is, it is going to establish, um, a very sen a strong sense of security and stability for you. The other cards that flew out, you have balance. <laughs> Look at this. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. Things are becoming more balanced because you're trusting your own gumption or you are now, you know, trusting your, trusting your ability, trusting your skills and your gifts. Like you're now trusting this process. You're in harmony now. This is powerful. And the next card we have is moon. And we just had Erica Badu sing an orange moon. Something's manifesting. Something's absolutely manifesting. But this is also showing that, you know, the cycles are, you know, are closing. You know, there's something that is, is closing out, you know, because cycles, the cycles of the moon are something that you could be like also utilizing um, in your practice, you know, in your spiritual practices, you know, whether it is a waning, a waxing, you know, whether it's a new moon or, a, you know, full moon, like you're utilizing those, those um, different moon phases to manifest because with the moon energy, again, something hidden. But if you look at these three feminine energies, um, they are looking at these moons. So this could represent like, you know, setting an intention and that intention is materializing. I feel spirit is also saying like, you know, there could be three, per, pe three people um, that could be kind of like observing you and watching you. You may have three, you know, suitors. You may have three people that are of significant that could be trying to, trying to do something. Like maybe this is even just speaking to something hidden. You know, it's, it's definitely telling you to listen to your intuition. We have right now Phaso, and this is called Riding High. So maybe people see that you are on this, you know, this, this upswing. Things are improving. Things are looking up for you. Things have materialized or manifested for you in a way that they may not have realized because you're in, you know, in this energy of harmony and balance. And you're also, you know, really feeling um, the sense of stability. And this is all you're doing because you've, you've completely changed your whole, you know, like approach, your disposition, your thought process. Like you've gone through some sort of like startling metamorphosis, which is why these things are now coming into, um, into this physical reality. So let's see who or what. Who is this our, who or what is our loved collective energy attracting to them? Why is this 93 happy ending here? And what stuck out to me just now is these eyes on the record and the word she. So remember, you got these three feminine energies. And if you look, they're looking at the moons. You know, they're looking at the moon. So I do feel like you do have some folks watching, you know, it could be someone um, like a feminine energy that is watching another person. Because when we first touched this deck, there was the watchtower and that watchtower is saying you are being watched and it's a she apparently for some of you, there is a feminine energy that could be trying to, you know, either Maybe they're trying to manifest another person. This could represent you utilizing the moon energy, utilizing the cycles, but this could also represent someone doing some shadow work, you know, utilizing the, 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 the um, moon energy as well. We will, we will, I want to get another card for that, honestly. And I will do so with the uh, dark grimoire. Um, so what we have here is pentacles respect. So this is beautiful because we're about to clarify this card of happy ending 12 that breaks down to 12 and it breaks that 12 breaks down to three. So it's like, this is a beautiful energy of like, 
there's something that or someone that is like finally seeing you in your in your power in your light in your truth you're coming off as someone that is um absolutely like a man a master manifestor or someone who is very much um very powerful regal royal because that three is like the empress energy you know and that empress knows the you know she knows her worth she's she's very uh you know a, a matriarch or a very maternal energy very beautiful very attractive very confident but also very loving and giving and very um strong she's a leader she's a boss you know but she's also very um caring very domestic very creative and maybe that's what you're tapping into is is just your you know or what you've tapped into and that's what's um making someone look at you differently because as we see here there was major transformations so maybe you've gone from being someone that was kind of blocked off closed off um to someone now who's willing to be more daring risky um and assertive going after what you want you know but this right here you've garnered the respect of someone someone is like wow they have respect they have they they, they honor you i'm hearing honor they respect you. They respect your, your values. They respect the way you think. You know, this person may be also like, um, you know, someone who like is also in the practice. I guess someone who is also spiritually um, inclined as well. Because remember, we saw that 7-7 seven, seven spirituality. And I was telling you whenever I see double numbers, I feel like that's someone that is absolutely like, you know, in your same energy. And we have right now, um, this is OG, OGC, and this is called um, Hurricane Strange. And they're from Brooklyn, New York. So someone's initials could start with an O, G, or C. Um, with Hurricane, um, I get like, you know, almost like storm warning. You know, and, and that could be because, you know, you're you're garnering the respect of people, you're handling your BI, you know, there's this happy ending, and then you have someone that could be trying to come in and, and rain on your parade. So just be mindful. I'm just hearing it's a warning. So you, you have to always trust your intuition, trust your gumption. That's your solar plexus. The 93 breaks down to that 12, which is three again. So use your gumption to navigate situations someone could be like trying to distract or deter you in some way so divine spirit why is this 93 happy ending here for who or what our beloved collective is attracting to them you have quite the messages so we have awakening didn't i say that there was a spiritual awakening awakening taking place and if you look closely there are two cows so this is like that earth energy some of you could be earth signs. Cows are, and this is two. So this is speaking to that same energy of like balance, harmony, um, you know, coming into harmony with someone that is in your likeness. But this awakening is saying someone or something is having this awakening, you know, and this could even be you, you know, you coming into your spiritual awakening and you're becoming happier because you're now living in your truth. And this storm, you know, Hurricane Strange, um, I just get storm warning from that. Um, is like spirit is spirit's way of saying like, do not do not allow anyone to steal your joy, dim your light, remain grounded because these cows represent Earth energy. In order to hear the truth, see the truth. Get out in nature because it's all around. The truth is the truth will be all around you. Meaning you'll receive those divine interventions. You'll receive synchronicities. Maybe you'll find a feather. Maybe you'll bump into a cow. You know, maybe you'll go somewhere and be like, oh my God, there's a farm here, a free farm. And you'll see cows and goats and chickens. And you know what I'm talking about? Like there's going to be some sort of divine intervention. And this is just, you know, maybe that's what caused the awakening. Maybe when you are already out, maybe that's the way that you came into your, um, your, your awareness. 
or this spiritual awakening, if you will. I'm getting a strong sense also like, you know, whoever you are attracting to you, like, you see how these two, they almost look just alike. It's like you you both are going to be stuck to like at the hip, joined at the hip. Like you're going to do everything together. You know what I'm talking about? Like y'all are going to just like this. This is such a beautiful connection. There's a lot of love there. This is beautiful. The next card we have is Wiccan Reed Ethos. Remember, I was picking up that there were some people that was not only watching you, but doing some sort of spell work. Because we had Oshun telling you earlier, protect yourself. And I picked up on a double energy earlier. And now we have this energy which shows someone is using some sort of dark magic, black magic. So if if, if this, re, um, if this um, resonates with some of you or applies to some of you, um, please do not take anyone's free will away. Because you do not know who their spirit guides are, or what their spiritual, um, you know, powers may be. You know, you don't know how high in rank they may be spiritually. And if you are sending someone um, negative energy or you're trying to manipulate a person's energy, um, spirit is going to, is going to handle that. You know, maybe some of you are just, you know, you're, you're in the practice and this is spirit's way of reminding you to stay within you know, the, the rights, you know, do not overstep your boundary stays within the laws of, you know, of the, um, of your, the reads of the rituals that you're doing, of the magic that you're doing. You have to stay within those, um, parameters. Do not overstep. You also have initiation. I told y'all you was becoming initiated. And you can see here the process. So many of you are, in fact, this is just confirming. And then we have this clearance card. So you are absolutely, spirit has initiated, spirit is the one initiating you. And, and that is the reason why we saw earlier um, that energy where, you know, this energy here, where it's like you're going through this awakening and you know, this is bringing happiness into your life because you're now living in your purpose. You could be also dibbing and dabbing in a little bit of magic. You could be writing or scribing, you know, your own little um, book of shadows, you know, cooking up your own recipes. But spirit is reminding you to stay within those parameters. Do not overstep your boundaries or, as I said earlier, like do not take away anyone's liberties or freedom. Like do not try to manipulate someone's en energy to your benefit. Because this is a karmic year. This is like, and it's not even just being a karmic year. Like laws of karma are always in effect. Many of you, the reason why you're happy is because you have performed those clearance rituals that I spoke of. You know, just like clearing your energy, getting rid of the blockages, things that were holding you back. So maybe some of those cord cutting rituals have assisted you, have helped you. This looks like a cord right here. And perhaps that's what was, um, you know, that's, that was your initiation is, is breaking free from that. And you did so, and now there's, you're happier because you, it's like that energy is, is you're released from that energy or that cord is no longer binding or anchoring you. That's powerful. What we have playing right here is get light. So now your energy is lighter. Oh my God. Every time I try to show you that same my goodness so get light by Nas did you see it I'll put it back get light so that get light is saying now your, your energy is lighter meaning you, you feel more you know more balanced as we saw you're more in harmony with yourself we have Miriam Makiba and this is called Pata Pata and it says 1967 which is 7-7 seven, seven again and remember we saw that spirituality card how someone feels about you we have the ritual card of invocation on the bottom of the deck so someone may feel like you're a high priest or priestess maybe your mother or father to your child or your own mother or father could be someone that could be also like a high ranking priestess or priest you know I'm hearing like um, 
like someone could be in like um santaria it could be like um someone could be like you know into that whole like into that practice or into what is the other one i can't even think of it yoruba yoruba excuse me and they could be like a high priest or a high priestess in that particular religion whatever it is you know someone could be seeing you as someone who's like utilizing you know your abilities your your spiritual gifts to you know invoke something to manifest something someone's name could be miriam you're definitely seen as someone spiritually um strong someone very spiritual why is 63 parenting 13 effort here for how this person or what our beloved collective is attracting to them we we'll get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Hi, Katara. Use your intuition. Because I feel someone from your past may be coming back. Thank you, spirit. This card is still in my hand. On the bottom of the deck, we have protection. Look at that. I, I just, I, I can't make this up. It says protection. So you are protected. You, you're definitely protected. Because I do feel like you have people that are, um, I get jealous. I get envious. I get people watching you. And I feel like it's because you have grown, you've matured, you've ascended, you've been going through this awakening, this spiritual awakening. You're not the same person in spirit. You know, people are just like, your energy is just, you're irritating a lot of demons out here. They own demon time. What did I say earlier? Some of y'all are high priestess, priests and high priestesses. This is how someone sees you. Literally just said this. And with this energy of the 4-4, the, um, four, four, they see you as very strong. I'm mean, SF44, four, four, I'm tripping, tripping. The the energy of four. This is someone that could be um seeing that you have been recovering. You know, the four is also a number of like holding back, because I'm seeing like the four of pentacles as well. So after you've transformed, you may be maybe just, you know, naturally a little guarded. Um, with this responsibility card, the high priest, high priestess energy. Um you're very in tune. You're on it. I was picking up the whole time, and it's just confirmation. This is how someone sees you. Even if this someone is you, <laughs> you know, or who you're attracting to you, um, may see you, you know, as someone that is very, um, very intuitive, almost a clairvoyant or clairaudient, or, you know, you, you have all the clairs. Like, you're, you're just very gifted. And we have the uh, silvers, and this is called Remember the Rain. And when I think of rain, you know, of course, that's a water element. But, you know, water deals with emotion. So maybe this is someone that is like taking a trip down memory lane and, you know, remembering some of the things that may have transpired in the past. Oh, Salu, my little baby, you okay? Katara just sneezed. But with responsibility, I see like you've taken responsibility. You've taken responsibility for your healing. You've taken responsibility for your transformation, for your growth. Someone has see, is seeing you in this light of being a divine, you know, uh, uh, um, someone who has divine knowledge and divine wise dome. This is beautiful energy, y'all. And we also have some more cards. Wow. Um, next, we have magic. Didn't I say y'all with some eye magi, y'all using your magi nation. Someone could be using some candle magic. You know, this is someone that realizes that you do have certain gifts. You do have certain talents and you are definitely protected for your guides. Remember, we saw a 444 earlier. And that's not only your angel showing up to show that they are showing up and showing out for you. But that's also confirmation that they're aligning you with your divine purpose and passion and person as i said earlier look at this this is an energy called fertility and it says at the top um beltane so you're you're coming into a union you see these two i mentioned that um when we saw that 11 11 i mentioned divine feminine and divine masculine energy and you can see these two embracing one another in this flame you know so that speaks to some sort of burning desire i feel like you may have manifested this Maybe someone is aware that you are a master manifester, 
because how someone feels about you is that you you're you're getting what you want you know by any means and any strategy you know and that could be what you are doing you literally could be utilizing your you know alchemical force but just make sure you know that you're staying in you know within those uh parameters so you're not overstepping other people's boundaries like make sure you you know the rules of the game before you play it okay so let's tap in and see what's hidden and then we're gonna wrap it up why is this nine compassion and number five here for what's hidden we got protection here so that's the change remember i was picking up like you were very guarded i was picking up that you were you know in that space of like you know or could have been in that space of you know being very um very much like protective of your energy because of former disappointments by people that you may have felt betrayed by you know and so you may have built up this wall you know but this completion is showing that that cycle is over you know there's no need to remain closed off and blocked off because a change is going to come regardless and this is a positive change we have method man and it's called judgment day so there is that wake up call and that epiphany i feel like there could also be some sort of karmic situations that are you know kind of wrapping up with this completion card as well because that karmic i mean that um this eight universal year and the judgment card is just speaking to that that karma and you're protected either way because this is showing me that you know you've planted your seeds in good faith and those seeds will be harvesting. Why is nine completion, five change? Okay, so this card is sticking out, and I'm gonna take it. And we have we have right back to the same card, which is the watchtower. So you do have a secret secret admirer. I feel like someone is realizing something, because we still have Judgment Day, and when we think of the Judgment card, you know, there, there's like someone is having some sort of aha moment. You know, there's like, oh, snap, you know, like they're seeing something. It's like a wake up call like this, 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 this trumpet is blowing. And now it's like, oh, you know, and maybe there was it, 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 it took a lot to get to this point. But someone is finally seeing something. We have containment. And remember, I was picking up like someone that was trying to trick you into, you know, starting over you know starting another chapter or repeating i should say another cycle well that's what i'm getting here and this wait let me see yeah and they're being like this is because with this containment you know what's hidden is like i feel someone was trying to to hold you back you know, with this containment, because cauldrons are what you cook up your uh, magical spells in. And so if you look in there, things are boiling over. But if you look closer, there are like these orbs, you know. So I feel strongly like whatever someone was trying to cook up to do to you, to block you, or to even block some sort of change that you were um, experiencing, it's like, they're not going to be able to do this because this cycle is completed because you all you have already come into your power and perhaps you're doing what was nece what's necessary um to protect yourself and your angels are also protecting you they're not going to let anyone or anything um you know stop you from living in your divine purpose so you have a lot of protection I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm seeing eight orbs. And remember, we started the reading with eight. So whoever this was, they're going to receive karma. That's what I just heard. They're going to receive karma. Whoever this is that's watching you, we're about to pull the card for communication. They're going to eventually stop watching and they're going to take action and come towards you. They're just thinking of a method. They're trying to think of a plan, strategize a plan. That's what I just heard with method man. So this could be a masculine energy trying to approach a feminine. And this could be someone that you know from the past or someone you're familiar with, even if you didn't date this person per se, even if this isn't a karmic or even if, um, you know, like if this is not someone that you've dated, then this is someone that you may be familiar with or know from your past. 
because we do have foundation here. So this could be someone that you've, you know, perhaps you know, established some sort of roots or um, you've established roots, you know, with this person. So that means there's some sort of history, some sort of familiarity with this, whoever this is. And wow, this person that's watching is eventually going to stop watching and they're going to take action and they're going to say, and look what's playing right now. Call J. Cole. And they just keep showing a phone. Oh my God, I'm so sick of that. It was just showing a phone. And I was saying that this person is eventually going to call right when I said that. Look at this. So someone is going to reach out to you and it's, it's something you could trust because this is the chalice. Spirit is saying you're going to be fulfilled emotionally when this person does reach out. And that's why I feel like Spirit was saying, um, you know, to you, to, you know, like they're going to say, hey, you, because I, I was getting a sense like this is someone you might know, you know, so maybe even if this isn't someone that's a karmic per se or someone you dated, this could be just someone you're familiar with, someone you've planted seeds, roots with, perhaps maybe you work with this person, you knew this person in past, and maybe this is someone you lived around, grew up with, because we have the foundation and there's a map, so this could be someone you're from the same parts of town, same, you know, you're from the town, you're from, you know, whatever, but there's going to be a conversation, there's going to be some sort of communication from someone, someone is going to express something, someone's name could be Jay or Cole, oops, sorry, Someone's name could be Jay or Cole, first middle or last. Someone could be from Fayetteville, North Carolina, or just North Carolina. This is very powerful. And I don't want to take y'all to two hours, so I'm going to end it there. But this is a powerful reading, y'all. Some of you all are very, very spiritually gifted, and I definitely encourage you to start tapping into those skills. Start taking it seriously. I feel like your gifts are going to, you're going to travel the world. Like it, you don't even know what you can do with this gift, this gift. Like if you are, you know, going through some sort of an initiation to become a shaman, as I was picking up earlier, you're going to be like traveling all over the place. I'm here in Peru, Spain. Like you're going to be going to all these amazing places, Mexico. Some of you may even go to Africa, but they're, they're, you're going to be traveling the globe to help heal people. Some of you may be Reiki healers. You could be going through some sort of um, crystal Reiki healing um, initiation. Some of you need to get some Reiki healing. And I know Robin's Realm, um, shout out to you, my soul sister. I know that she does Reiki healing. So some of you may want to, you know, tap in, um, you know, contact Robin uh, for some services for Reiki healing. Um, that is a way to, you know, unblock those chakras and, um, you know, transmute that energy and you regain that power. But this is a reading. Your reading is done. I thank you so much. I don't know what I just said. It just came out. But this is time to say goodbye. <laughs> Um, but I thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in for all of you that may be new. I do hope that this message resonates. I hope that the way that I read resonated with you. And if you got this far, I, big ups to you. Shout outs to all of those who do not have a short attention span. I appreciate and value you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Please rotate the love. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in to all of my beloveds that are returning. Until next time, I send a big fat out, y'all. Peace.